For Christmas last year, I received a brake bleeding kit for the hydraulic brake system. I've never used it since. It took a while for me to get the specific oil for my brakes. My problem is I don't know how to do it, so I'm going to consult some bike mechanics on YouTube to get me going. And then I'm going to do it for the first time and we'll see how it goes. Hello, Calvin Jones with Park Tool Company. Okay, your brakes are a pretty simple setup. You have a brake lever. As soon as you pull on the lever, you've got a piston that plunges the hydraulic oil. At the bottom, you've got a caliper. And as soon as you press the lever, you've got two pistons that press brake pads against the rotor. So that's how your braking will work. To do the brake bleed, first of all, you're gonna need the, the specific oil for your brakes. Shimano uses the hydraulic mineral oil. We've got a little see-through pipe that's gonna connect up to the syringe. We've got a brake block that will go in your caliper. You have to take your brake pads out. I'm just gonna use this uh, multi-tool. I'm gonna need a seven spanner. We've got this little reservoir that's going to screw in here at the top over here so that you can put in brake fluid at the top. We've got a tire lever. We're going to use this to press the pistons back into place. Combination pliers to release this pin here at the back so that I can remove the brake pads. And to clean everything up we've got brake cleaner because we're working on brakes. You're going to hear me say stuff like bleeding nipple and o-ring and I'm not trying to be rude. We need to position this brake lever so that it's slightly more level but to do that we need to get this little release for the shock out of the way. And release here by the the screw so it will move that looks to be more level so just gonna leave it there for now so then I remove the split pin so I can remove the brake pads and loosen the axle bolt so I can remove the front wheel. It's just going to make things a little easier with it out of the way. Let's see if we can turn some light on the subject. Okay, if you can see there, we've got these pistons, we need to push them back into place. Let's do that. Okay, as you can see, the pistons are back into place. Now, I'm going to try and put in this block, which I've noticed already doesn't fit. Okay. So my problem is this block doesn't fit inside the caliper so for this exercise I'm gonna just get it in there and then use the split pin to keep it into place. We've got a bleeding nipple, it's got a little rubber dust cap that we're gonna be removing so that we can connect up. We're gonna take our syringe and get the, the little hose on. Not too tight, it is plastic thread. Just gonna stick it in there. Gonna put in some oil. Just gonna get rid of the air inside the syringe.
Now, I'm going to use this little adapter for the pipe. Push with the syringe at the bottom and we should see something happen at the top. I don't know if you can see but the oil is coming out very dirty. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just close at the bottom. I'm gonna put in a plunger here at the top so that I can remove the reservoir and I'm throw out the reservoir, empty this one out and screw it back in, release the plunger, open up here at the bottom again, just a half turn. Pushing the syringe again, injecting the oil. Now it seems to be coming out a little cleaner. Now we tighten here at the bottom and we're gonna try and push the air out a little. Doesn't look like there's any air coming out. So what we're going to do is, this is what they call a burping. We're going to add a little oil at the top so that we don't push in air at the top again. We're going to tilt the brake lever a little forward to see if there's air coming out. We pump it a little. Way. Okay, let's make sure this bead screw is tight. I'm gonna release this little clamp and remove the hose. We can now get rid of the oil in the syringe. Not gonna happen like that. Plunger at the top, remove the reservoir away with the oil, this little cap screw. Go to the top ever so gently. We're gonna remove the split pin to get the block out.
the first initial pumps you'll feel like there's nothing there but let's say about 10 pumps later you will feel it stiffen up and it will feel nice and firm it's not difficult to do it's messy make sure you've got something thrown down on the floor so that you don't mess on the floor have enough rags around I bled my brakes.